In this lesson we're going to do a fluid contour flower. So to start with we open generations and select the circle tool and I'm just going to grab a circle. Now I'm going to select that circle, go to my reshape button which is down here, style 127, click OK and I'm just going to grab that bottom node and drag it down, hit enter and generate. Now I have a petal shape. Now that's rather large so whilst it's selected I'm going to go to my resize and change the Y measurement to 30, maintain aspect ratio. Now I can just click OK and the X will change or I hit my tab and you can see the size of X and click OK. So now you can see that I've actually changed the size so I'll just generate it. Now I'm going to select it on my stitch sequence and go for fluid contour. And you can see now that I've actually changed that uh, when I generate it to a fluid contour. Now I can add in guidelines myself. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit my space bar, not going to make sure use underlay is not checked, go to the top here to fluid contour. I'm going to change my density to 5. I'm going to use smooth edges and I'm going to click on draw guidelines. Now by selecting this button here I can left click, right click and determine where by hitting the enter where my contour lines are going to be. So I'll do the same down the other side and click enter and the same in the middle area. So you can see I'm determining where those contours are going to go very similar to what they already are. Hit enter and click OK, apply and OK. Now because I use smooth edges we've got nice squared off edges around there. Now I'm going to go up to the top and go to stitch, create outline from area edges and I'm going to change that to 2. Satin border and click OK and I'm going to generate. Now I'm going to actually select that, move it up a fraction. Now I want to make five petals. A complete circle is 360 degrees. If I divide it by five, I get 72 degrees. So whilst that's selected, I'm now going to select my rotate by number of degrees button. By default, it will come up as 45, but I've got that angle set at 72, which is into 360, click OK. Now you can see it's actually moved that around. Now because I want five petals I'm going to undo that. I'm going to hit Control C to do a copy, Control V to do a paste. As you can see I've pasted another one directly on top. Now I'm going to hit that same rotate button, click OK and now I have my second petal. Control C and Control V and I have my third petal, Control C and Control V, and I have my third petal, fourth petal, sorry, and the same again, and have the five petals of my flower. Now I can actually nudge these using the keys on my keyboard to nudge them where I want them. Until I've got roughly a, a symmetrical type flower. You'll have to play with this for a minute until you get it exactly how you want it. Okay, that will do for starts. Now I'm actually going to drag a circle for the center of the flower. Now if I leave that where it is and machine it out like that, then I'm actually going to have the satin border underneath that circle in the center and I will have bumps. So I'm going to select by holding down my control key each of those outlines. Then I'm going to go to my uh, view outline 
right click on one of those great areas and I'm going to say create area from line leave the area width as 2 and click OK and generate now instead of having a satin border I have an area border so I now need to go and holding down my control key I will delete the other five that were there before control delete will get rid of those so first of all I'll just grab those and I'm going to change the color just to a light pink color I'm going to grab that center and I'm going to move it to the bottom and I'll make that a dark pink color now I need to cut these areas at the back of the center so that I don't get those bumps and because they're areas I can do that so I just held pick the bottom one held my shift key went to the top one edit outline button right click create a void using existing area and very carefully when that turns pink that will cut and generate now I've cut the areas I'll just change those to a, a bit brighter pink so now we're going to sew that first one out now I don't want it to finish there where it is I want it preferably to finish down the bottom here and generate and the same with the other one I'm going to get them to finish in the center here and generate my next one oops moved it undo button I'm just dragging these into place the in and the outs made a mistake again and generate now I finished there so I prefer this outline to stitch next so I'm just going to find it and move it up the line now all I'm doing is just dragging that up and move my in and my out points to the center and the next one would be that one so I'm going to have my in there and my out there and generate next one my in and my out and generate the next one my in and my out and generate and again my in and my out and generate last but not least we'll move that where it finished and I'll move this one over to the other side and generate change that to a complex fill just going to hit my spacebar select a pattern and I'll probably just use three pair four pair click OK apply and OK and there you have your fluid contour flower I can turn off my hoop I'll go to view preferences canvas settings use the canvas turn off my grid now you can see there that my canvas is plain weave I can move these to change the color until a color that I want by playing with these you can get all sorts of colors okay that one will do I'll click OK and there we have our fluid contour flower on a fabric background just to give us some idea with a 3d view what it's going to look like I hope you've enjoyed the lesson <laughs>